Hey, how y'all doing? Fat Guy Flies RC. Out here, I'm down here in the uh, man cave. Um, this is the FMS CJ6 and the rudder came detached. All right. Now, and I'm going to show you a real simple way to fix that. All right. Now, what I like to do with foam is use, I mean, if this was a larger foam plane that had more stress or a 3D plane or an aerobatic plane, then I probably would use mechanical hinges, but CA hinges with a CA type material, which is just a very thick paper that is very strong and will allow chemical to wick through it. In this case, um, CA, thin CA. All right. The uh, thin CA that I like to use is this kind of this brand right here, Starbond Thin. I get it off of uh, Amazon. And it's like, I want to say $12 to $14, somewhere like that. And you, that's enough to get do several planes. All right. Well, I'm going to start with, with, the, with the detached rudder. Okay. And I'm going to figure out where I want to put them. Now I know where I want to put these hinges. Now I know that it attaches like that and then the connections on this side. Okay. And right here is plastic, hard plastic. So I'm going to start my hinge here, here, and then up top. Okay. Now these hinges are approximately an inch wide. I'm going to use all three. Well, my blade is about an inch wide. So I'm going to go right up very top here. I'm going to get the very center, very, very center line here. And I'm going to press in with the flat part of my blade at the very top going horizontally. I'm going to go directly in. I'm just going to kind of feel it. And I'm going to make sure that my blade goes in to the very center of the foam that doesn't come out to either one side but goes to the very center. Now I'm going to turn the blade over a little bit and do the same same process because I got to make and, and actually this foam has been it's like laminated together so it's almost so I'm going to, so I made my cut okay and now that hinge should go right in there but I want to go a little bit deeper than that I want about half of that material to be hanging out okay I want I want whenever I insert it and glue it in there I want half of it hanging out so I'm gonna dry dry fit it get it in there I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but look. See how that is? You can see how it's right in the very center. Okay. A little piece of tearing off there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take that piece. I'm going to put it back in there. Okay. I'm going to take my CA. I'll let that piece wick in there. All right. I'll let that wick right in there. All right. And then that CA hinge is now in there. It won't go anywhere now. Okay. Now understand you're going to have CA on your fingers. You'll be taking paint off like I just did. So please be careful. All right. I'm going to take the second hinge. And I'm not measuring anything right now because the measurement or the dead reckoning basically will be on this. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to go right about here, making my horizontal cut. I'm going straight in the very center of the foam, getting all that blade all the way in there. Okay. Turn that blade upside down. Okay. Feel that blade in there. Take my CA hinge. Feel for the the wound I made, basically, the hole I made. Let that work that in there. Half of it's in there. Now I'm going to do CA that one, that in there. Let that wick in. 
Okay. Now that CA hinge is in there. And that, that CA paper basically is a very strong porous paper that is fiber has fibers in it and it allows that CA to hinge in there and wick in there. Okay. And now I'm gonna make my last cut. Go right here in the middle. Do like I just did the other three. Okay. I'm going to take this last CA hinge. And I'm going to work it into there. Okay. Now that's in there. I'm going to glue it. I'm just going to let that, wick, let that glue wick in there. Okay. And now I have three CA hinges all right there. Now, you're saying, well, that's fine and dandy. How are you going to attach to the other part of your plane? All right. Well, I'm going to show you. Here's where you're going to need the materials that you need, by the way, are thin CA. You're going to need a Sharpie or a marker and a good, sharp razor blade. Okay. All right. So those hinges are in there. They are not coming out. I mean, all right. Now I'm going to line this up, okay, I'm going to pay attention, I just let that sit there, okay, or maybe let it sit there, okay, maybe it'll sit there, get my sharpie ready, okay, you can see what I'm doing, I'm marking right where that CA hinge touches. All right, so now I know to do the exact same process that I did with this foam, I'm going to do here, but now I know where to cut. So I'm going to go right to the very center. Now those marks are a little off to one side, but that gives me the guide, okay? Okay, right on the very top there. Go to the very bottom of the cut. And what it is, I'm just making a nice indentation where that CA hinge will, will get in there. Okay, this time I'm going to have to do it this way. All right, now, here's the one time you're going to dry fit, okay? Make sure this CA is dry Okay, it's not going to touch because you just want to dry fit. All right, you're going to work. I suggest you take these CA hinges and you get one started. Okay, and if it doesn't quite go in there right off the bat, it's don't get don't get discouraged. Just kind of work that hinge in there. Okay, because you can always pull that back out. Okay, kind of work that in there. All right, now look at that. That hinge, that is now in there, okay? I'm happy with that, okay? Let's turn this this way, okay? It's, make sure it's right in the center, and it is, okay? I'm happy with how that's connection. I'm happy with, make sure you've got just enough space to where you can see a little bit of daylight through the sun. I mean about as much as you'd have like a thin credit card. Make sure you don't have any bindings. Make sure it all fits. Okay, I'm happy with how that fits. Work it back a little bit. I know it's nice in there. It's not, it's not gonna bind. It's seated really well. All right, so now I can go ahead and permanently attach, okay? And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna turn the model let me get over here where this wing will dip down more. Okay. Ah, hold on. Let me change stands real quick. So I can show you what I'm doing. 
Okay. It's important that what you want to do at this point is have that model on the side to where your CA hinge is straight up. Okay. If that makes any sense, because I'm going to let that that CA wick down into that new hinge. All right. So look at the bottom of the screen here. Okay, I'll move back just a little bit. We move the camera closer to us. Okay. Give me, like I say, I'm the only, I'm, I'm the only cameraman, so not that I'm complaining or anything, but it's just me. All right, hold on. Let's, all right. All right, y'all can see the hinge now, right? Okay. Yeah, like I can hear you answer me. Okay, there it is. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm happy with that. Pull it up just a touch. Of course, not rubbing. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the bottom hand. I see my hinges, and I'm going to allow the CA to wick in there. Where I've got that, I can see that blue hinge. All right. Kind of work out a little bit, and that's going to work itself in there. Okay. Now. Take it, take your model, turn it the other way up. And you're going to repeat that same process, but you're going to do it on this side. Okay? All right? I don't know if you can see them, but the hinge is there, there, and there. Okay? I'm going to push down, exposing that hinge, and allow that little bit of CA to wick in there on both sides. All right. So I've worked out a little bit. Let that CA all work itself in there. Now, don't be surprised if right off the bat it's kind of stiff. And that's okay. You're going to work it a little bit. It's like, what do you do? Anytime you get a model out, what do you do? You work the hinge, right? Same thing here. All right, so let's go pull our camera back up. All right. All right, we're going to let this dry for just a second. Okay, we're going to get it let dry for about five or six minutes, but we're not going to obviously film that, so stand by for just a minute. We'll come right back. Okay, we're back. CA is dried for a good three or four minutes, about five minutes really. And I want to see how nice and strong that is. Now watch this. Okay, I want to hold the model, and I'm holding it just on that CA hinge. The weight of that entire model, the motor and everything, is just on that CA hinge. All right, so if it can hold the weight of the model, then that hinge is fine. Of course, I don't have a battery in there, but still, I'm proving my point. That's a nice strong hinge, it's actually stronger than the initial pinch hinge that was in there. Now, the reason we had to do that is this apparently the rudder, the rudder must have gotten dry rotted or whatever, and we took it to the field, and I noticed a huge injury. <laughs> I was going to sell this model to a guy, and uh, he said, oh, yeah, the, the rudder's messed up. And I said, let me look at that. And I said, well, let me fix it, okay? And that's how you fix that, okay? Real simple. I don't know how the rudder detached, but foam, foam hinges will, deteri will deteriorate in time. Usually, it's just from use, dry rot. They will eventually give out, okay? Now, like here, I can show you another area where I can see... Where the hinge is starting to wear okay if you look up here in this corner you can kind of see it's starting to get kind of dry and worn up in there you're starting to see cracks in that laminate well what happens with the cracks okay the laminate starts on coming undone which is just basically just the uh, like a plastic coating they've got on there that starts coming undone it starts getting wear rot and dry and time and heat and everything gets in there and eventually the hinge lets go okay it's just it's a fact of nature with foam hinges this is why i highly recommend when you're building the plane okay when you are building the plane and putting it together for the first time take yourself hold the foam made by beacon and just 
You can take your finger or a Q-tip and just make another hinge coating with this material. And this is just basically Elmer's glue on steroids. That's what it is. It even looks like Elmer's glue, smells like Elmer's glue, but it has a stronger bond. And work that in that hinge before you unattach it from its clevis. And work this in the hinge, let it dry, and it just gives you another layer of a, of a rubbery, flexible seal that will make that foam hinge last 10 times longer than just a regular laminate alone. That's on, or just the plain, like a lot of your Dynam models just have a plain pinch hinge. The foam is just, the foam is just pinched. That's all there is. So it's just the material of the foam holding the hinge together. Well, that will definitely deteriorate in time. So, well, there you go. That's how you make a, a uh, how you repair a uh, broken foamed hinge using sharp knife, then CA, a Sharpie to mark, and then CA hinge paper. You can get it on Amazon, buy it by the sheet. I think you get two sheets for like $11. And, uh, you know, a sh one sheet's like that. That's enough to make you 40 hinges. Should, la should last you a long time, you know. So, <laughs> there you go, folks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you all. And my favorite comedian, get her done. <laughs> Don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye-bye. Gotta turn the camera off.